In this question, we're given the equation for a chemical reaction, and our goal is to figure out the type of reaction that's happening. So we have five possible overall types of reaction that we could have. So let's look at these descriptions here. One reaction is where a compound breaks down to form two or more substances. So the name of this is a decomposition reaction. So that's where we start with one thing and it breaks down to form multiple things. Next, we have the opposite process. Here we have two or more substances that combine to form one compound. So this is the opposite of decomposition. It's called synthesis. And this is where we form something from multiple parts. Okay, the next type is when we have a hydrocarbon. That's a compound made of carbon and hydrogen that combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is a very specific type of reaction and it's called combustion, or in other words, burning. Next we have a reaction in which one of the elements in a compound is replaced. So one of the pieces of a compound is swapped for something else. And this is called a single replacement reaction. It's called single replacement because only one thing is being replaced in a compound. The final type down here is where we have two compounds that swap partner elements with each other. So in this type of reaction, both of the elements are replaced. So this is called a double replacement reaction. So those are our five main types. And some of these can be broken down further into other categories, such as the thing that's are created. For example, with a double replacement reaction, we could have gas formed at the end. We could have a neutralization reaction in which water is formed at the end. Or we could have a precipitation reaction in which a solid is formed at the end. And for single replacement reactions, we could have a situation where a halogen, in other words, a group 17 non-metal, is replaced in a compound. We could have a situation where the hydrogen is replaced in a compound. Or a situation where the metal is replaced in a compound. So those are subcategories of these main categories of reactions. So when we're given a reaction such as this one, here we can see we've got carbon and hydrogen combining to form C2H2. So based on our options down here, this is going to be a synthesis reaction because we have two or more substances combining to form one compound. So that's going to be B for our description, and the name is synthesis. In this question, we have zinc and we have hydrobromic acid, and they react and we end up with zinc bromide and hydrogen. So if you look carefully, you can see the zinc gets swapped in for the hydrogen in this compound, and the hydrogen comes out and goes off on its own. So you can see the zinc and the hydrogen are swapping places. So this is a single replacement reaction. And of the options here, it's the hydrogen that's being replaced. So that's going to be a hydrogen replacement reaction. And the description is D, which is for single replacement. In this question, we have a compound made of carbon and hydrogen. And we have oxygen. And we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So this matches up with our description C, which is where a hydrocarbon, that means a compound made of carbon and hydrogen, combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is a combustion, or in other words, a burning reaction.